guys, Gabe's back, and today we are going to be using this ice hockey. I'm sorry I haven't gotten any videos for a long time, but I've moved back to the past years, and my teacher drove me nuts, and I just didn't have time to build the main videos, but I promise during the winter we'll get on ice videos, maybe with the GoPro or with the tripod, I'm not too sure, but today we're doing contraptions right here. And you can basically build really cool things. And today we're not going to build the front thing or anything on the directions because I lost the directions. But today what we're going to be doing is something a little like different. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a two-story thing. It's going to fall, bounce. And fall in a hole. This may be a short video, but I promise you there will be. It may become long because this game needs a lot and a lot of patience. Hey guys, I'm back, and today we are. Yeah, and I don't know two story, but two story things are actually kind of hard if you do things like this, that. But so what we do is we kind of get like a four by like four piece or five piece thing. You know, depending on how large you want to make it, I think this is like exactly how long the piece is. So I'm gonna do it with four or five. Sometimes I do it with four, sometimes I do it with five. It it doesn't really matter unless you don't unless you want to use the whole the whole plank. Except then you might not have some wiggle room because you know if you have extra, it's harder for it to fall. But then again, on the top you have more space. And you have to be very patient with this because they can fall. The, but they are all same length, same um same width, same um thickness, same heaviness, like same same weight. So, there's no um, independent variable. There's nothing different about them. So, they're just all one constant thing. There's nothing different. Except that you count balls is a different mass that, go, that goes with it. That'd be an independent variable. But... It's quite simple. All right, and so now we're gonna put this this way. And what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna add kind of just a layer like that. And this is going to be our ramp on the top. And so here, I'm kind of gonna measure it. I don't know what the steepness should be. I mean, if it's less steep, it's probably gonna go out more like this, like this, you know. And if it's like more, it's if it's steeper, it's not gonna go as far, but it's gonna bounce higher. Let's see. I want to make it steep, and then I want to make it bounce. And then when it bounces, I want to have something to catch it, and then roll it out. So here, let's let's do a test try now. All right, guys, we are doing a test try now. And let's, we're going to see how far it bounces. If the wood doesn't move. Alright. I bounced that far. Let me see again. Come on. About right here. I'm 
hoping this works. All right, so it landed at about there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna box it off. And here at the end, I'm gonna ramp it. Basically, the shock of the wood on the ball of the wood is going to absorb all of the power and will make the ball just stop, like do a little bounce, and have it roll, roll out. Now, so, right here, we are going to test and go. Perfect. So, we will now do this. And perfect. It worked. So, basically, guys, I'm going to, this the week we am going to basically post a couple contraption videos i'll try getting one i think <coughs> daily it, it's not going to be daily. it's probably going to be a day apart because when i um, have scrunched the video it needs to um it takes it about like two hours two or three hours and then i need to upload it which takes about another 20 like 30 minutes but anyways i'll try to get them as fast as i can and i am doing this in the um, mid afternoon, so it will not be out until like tomorrow. <laughs>